Hey guys, let's start the 58th episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. When will Messi's new contract be announced? Why has nobody dared to take Ramos number 4 at Madrid? PSG's failed pursuit of Messi, Barcelona's wage restructuring program has started. Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before beginning this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So first, without delay, let's get to know some main news of today's video. Lionel Messi joining PSG was a dream, says Leandro Perez. Messi shocked the football world by handing in a formal transfer request last summer, although he eventually ended up staying at Camp Nou for the final year of his contract. The 2020-2021 campaign was rife with speculation over which club he would head to next. PSG was the most likely destination for the 34-year-old, who is now officially a free agent. Still, Goal has learned that Barca has reached an agreement to re-sign Messi. Yes, there was a lot of talk at the club when it emerged that Leo could come to Paris, the PSG midfielder told ESPN. It was a dream to imagine he could be with us next season. But hey, that didn't happen. I hope he likes where he plays. PSG made no secret of their desire to sign Messi, with club president Nasser al khalifi and sporting director Leonardo both publicly confirming their interest earlier this year. Former Barca winger Neymar also welcomed the prospect of reuniting with the six-time Ballon d'Or winner at Parc des Princes in December. Paird said that the club would welcome him with open arms in the same month. However, Paird's backtracked three months later when he said that PSG had asked him not to talk about Messi who is understood to have rejected several offers in favor of signing a renewal at Camp Nou. Barcelona will formally announce Messi's new contract in the coming weeks, after finalizing a few minor details. The Argentine has agreed to take a 50% pay cut as the Blagrana continue to try and cut costs, with the terms of his new deal set to keep him at Camp Nou until at least 2026. The main problem is the financial situation and financial fair play. For Joan Laporta, a pivotal summer at the club has been largely successful so far. With new arrivals, many players shifted out, and a new contract for Lionel Messi agreed. Now begins a crucial phase in the Barcelona president's plan of action, agreeing on reduced salaries for key first-team players. Thus far, Matthew Lemony has made initial contact with the agents of Gerard Piquet, Sergio Busquets, Sergi Roberto, and Jordi Alba to express the need to reduce their salaries. However, as Laporta waited until Messi had agreed to take a 50% pay cut in his new contract before asking the other players to follow suit, negotiations have not yet taken place. PK, Busquets, Sergi Roberto, and Jordi Alba would be asked to take a 40% pay cut. The actual percentage has not yet been finalized. This week, the negotiations with the players' agents will occur. Although the club is under no illusions of the task's difficulty, given that the players are not in favor of taking wage reductions. Sergio Ramos has left a shadow over Real Madrid, with all those left behind remembering the centre-back's legendary achievements from his 16 years at the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. When Ramos arrived at Real Madrid, he took the number 4 that had belonged to Fernando Jairo. The arrival from Sevilla relished the challenge of replacing Jairo, but nobody has asked for Ramos' number in the two and a half weeks since his departure. It was the same with the Spanish national team. With La Roja, Ramos wore number 15 as a tribute to Antonio Puerta, yet no player in Luis Enrique's squad took that shirt number for Euro 2020. That's because there was still so much respect for the player who had been Spain's captain throughout qualification before ultimately missing out on the tournament squad. At Real Madrid, nobody has yet taken the number 4. David Alaba has just arrived and could be a candidate, but it's not yet clear if he'll take that number. The number 4 is steeped in Real Madrid history, not only because of Ramos and Jairo. Before them, top players like Piri, Uli Stylik, Ricardo Rocha, and Rafael Alcorta used it. Somebody will surely have to take it, though, as players in the first team squad must use numbers between number 1 and number 25. Meanwhile, Ramos' captain's armband has already been claimed by Marcelo, who had been the center back's vice captain. Now we move on to some exciting news of the day. Reports in France claim Pogba, 28, is close to an agreement with PSG but the League One runners-up have not formally approached United. Pogba's agent, Mino Raiola, has been contacted for comment. Pogba has entered the last year of his United contract and the Manchester Evening News reported in April he is relaxed about his future and prepared to stay for at least another year if a summer transfer does not materialize. Paul Pogba's agent Mino Raiola has agreed on terms with Paris Saint-Germain to sign the Man United midfielder. Lyon is eager to finalize a deal for Barcelona defender Samuel Ntiti, according to Sport. The French outfit is looking to re-sign the 27-year-old on loan and hopes Barca will agree to keep paying 50% of his wages. It remains to be seen whether Barca will sanction Mtiti's departure under those terms, though, as they continue to tie and cut costs amid a financial crisis. According to Sport, Rigby Puig has rejected several offers in favor of staying in Barcelona and fighting for its place. Ajax, Granada, and Celta Vigo have submitted loan bids for the 21-year-old. 
but he has no desire to leave Camp New. Ronald Coleman is also counting on Puig to play a vital role in his Barca setup as they aim to fight for domestic and European honors in 2021 to 2022. Juventus have been told how much they will have to pay to sign Manchester City striker Gabriel Jesus, as Calcio Mercato reports. The buying country have identified the 24-year-old as a priority target, but City demands 50 million euros for the Brazilian forward. Jesus, who has just entered the final two years of his contract at Etihad Stadium, scored nine goals in 29 Premier League games for City last term. Barcelona is keen on arranging a deal for little midfielder Renato Sanchez, According to Ez, the Blagrana cannot afford Lil's 35 million euros asking price for the Portuguese but would like to bring him on loan and with an option to buy. Sanchez helped Lil win the League One title last season and has also been linked with Liverpool. Blue set sights on Bayern star. Chelsea is willing to include Callum hudson odley in any potential deal for Bayern Munich winger Kingsley Coman, according to El Equipe. The Blues would like to negotiate a player plus cash agreement that could allow Bayern to reinvest in another potential new signing in addition to landing long-term target hudson Odoi. The Englishman is not in Thomas Tuchel's plans at Chelsea for next season, and the Blues head coach has long been an admirer of Komen, who Bayern are valuing at 90 million euros. Juventus are interested in re-signing Barcelona midfielder Muriel and Pijanic. According to Mundo Deportivo, P. Janik joined Barca in 2020, with Arthur heading in the opposite direction as part of a swap deal, but the Bosnian endured a difficult debut season at Camp Nou. The Blagrana are ready to offload P. Janik as they bid to cut their salary costs, but Juve is not the only side interested in the playmaker, who has also been linked with Premier League giants Chelsea. Roma is the latest team to show interest in Villarreal's Alfonso Pedraza, Talcio Mercado. It reports the Soraya side has the 25-year-old on their list of targets, while AC Milan, Chelsea and Barcelona are also in the frame. Bayern Munich has approached Barcelona to ask their asking price for a defender believed to be Sergio Dest. Nando Deportivo claims the German side is in the market for a right-back and has their eye on a Barcelona player. While Sergi Roberto or Emerson Royal could be their target, the Bundesliga champions were previously linked to USA International Dest and are the most likely option they are after. Tevin Gamero has returned to Strasbourg. The striker has signed a two-year deal with the club, where he started his professional career. Liverpool youngster Ethan Innes is on the verge of leaving the club after rejecting a contract offer. Liverpool Echo reports the 16-year-old will join either Chelsea or Manchester United this summer, with the Red Devils the most likely destination. Brighton is preparing a move for Celtic striker Odson Edwide, says Daily Express. The Premier League side is bolstered by their £50 million sales of Ben White to Arsenal and expect to land the attacker. The fullback was spent last season on loan at AC Milan. The Italian coach is an admirer Carlo Ancelotti wants to bring Diogo Dalla to Real Madrid from Manchester United. Nando Deportivo says the coach was interested in signing the fullback when he was in charge of Everton and is still monitoring him. Renz has reached a 3 million euros agreement with Nimes for Berger Melling. Foot Mercado says he will sign a four-year contract with the League One side after rejecting interest from Strasbourg and Besiktas. West Ham and Everton are interested in signing Clement Linglet from Barcelona, as reports both Premier League sides have approached the Catalan side to discuss a deal, while Barca wants to offload him. Riyad Mahrez is in line for a contract extension at Manchester City, according to Men. The Algerian winger's current deal expires in 2023, but the Premier League champions are eager to tie him down to new. The Nerazuri want to sign the 25-year-old as a replacement for Archaf Hakimi, who has just joined Paris Saint-Germain but can only afford to commit to a loan deal at the moment. PSV is holding out for a permanent offer for Dumfries, meaning according to Calcio Mercado, Inter will likely have to sell more players before being in a position to meet their demands. Barcelona striker Martin Braithwaite is the subject of interest from Brighton. According to Sport, Barca will demand around 13 million euros for Braithwaite, who has also been linked with West Ham and Wolves. This was the end of our 58th episode. We will be back with more exciting news and transfer rumors tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.